ओके सो हेलो एवरी वन वेरी गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू दिस लाइव स्ट्रीम ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ अप्रैल फ्रॉम द चैनल फन विद डेटा साइंस सो आई जस्ट वेलकम एवरी वन टू दिस पर्टिकुलर लाइव स्ट्रीम टूडे एंड होप एवरी वन इज डूइंग वेरी वेल टूडे ग्रेट so um in a very short while i'll be discussing and even i'll be enclosing up that uh, what is the project what's that python project uh, for today what is the one which we're going to do i will letting if that particular thing in a very short while just let we can just let everyone join in the session because like we will keep on joining and joining so as soon as everyone join in so we can just i can just actually let you know about um the respective sort of a project which we are going to do up today okay so great so again i welcome everyone to this live stream hope all of you are doing well and yeah you can just let me know in the chat box as well from your side if you're doing well great so yeah happy to have you people uh, here in this live stream very happy to have you all very nice so yeah slowly and uh, gradually people are joining in and joining in so that's the thing i will be letting you know about the project in a very short while about the like whatever i have a uh, plant in for this today's live stream so yeah but it it's one thing that it's sure gonna be a python project only uh in the last live stream we did the data analysis so yeah today we'll be doing the python project a uh, sort of one which you will be actually able to add up into your resumes that sort of one right so that is about the thing and what are we going to do what are the things that we'll be doing up all of those we'll be discussing up on to a a very short note right till the time i can let you know that what are the respective uh, topics on to which we are working up right now so currently is we are working up on to the topics which are uh, on mondays tuesdays and wednesdays uh, we have tableau that for data science we have tabli for data science on to the channel okay then on thursdays and fridays we have the a probability for data science that respectively uh, about the probability in data science like what are the things what topics and everything further on saturdays so you know in the evenings that um, we can say at night only so yeah, at 10 pm we have the live stream starts a sort of uh, very done thing and further on to the sunday sunday is it somewhat regarding the road maps in the morning like it's it's somewhat a sort of thing that on sunday mornings i put up the road maps related to the different different fields so that if you want in a respective field you can go into that and follow up that respective road map you can get to know that what is actually that you have to do into that particular field and um, what are the things that you can do what are the things required what are the skills required so that thing i simply put it up uh, respectively on sunday so this is a complete um, monday to sunday that what are the things i am putting up onto my channel is completely about that and now in that case if you want anything else like i should make the videos on those topics or that respective topics so every time you can let me know that in in any of my recent videos okay any time you can suggest me out the things in any of my recent videos and yeah i'll be happy to have your uh, suggestions there right so yeah great 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 so that's all about like what are the things i am doing from uh, mondays up to sunday and uh, like how are we proceeding so for the data science i had already made up a lot and lot of topics i've covered many on to the channel so you can just go ahead and check out the channel okay so now let me start up a little bit slowly slowly that what are we planning to do today and what's that project about and the things like that right so yeah let, let's we can just uh, get on here so first of all i will let you know that what is the ide that we are using up so the ide that i am using up here is the pycharm okay so pycharm ide i am simply using it up here 
so if you want you can uh, use up the pi charm only or you can use any like like uh, you can say jupiter notebooks okay or visual studio codes or um like like this particular pie charm sublime spider any any ide you can use according to your choice or whatever you are actually having up into your uh, respective um, laptops okay uh yeah hi johnny welcome to this particular live stream uh johnny good to have you here hope you are doing very well great so yeah uh that's about the ide that is my pie charm ide okay so that is the one which i'm going to use up so if you also want to download the pie charm ide so just go ahead and check on the description for this live stream in the description i had already put in the link for installing and downloadation of the python as well as the pie charm so you could refer up your respective uh, video and you can just go ahead with that okay great um uh firas what's the project for today yeah firas just give me uh one two more minutes i will disclose the project for today okay just give me some time just two to three more minutes um ravi yeah everything is going very good ravi and hope at your place as well everything is going fine okay johnny most welcome most welcome for that great great everyone so i yeah i just wanted to share one thing one more thing with you people that uh, right away yesterday only uh hi i actually had an interview uh with the director of excess college so director sac of excess college so that video is already on to my community post because that video is not on my channel it is on to that excess college channel only but yeah for that for you people i had put up the link on to my community okay yesterday so just go ahead and check on my community for yesterday and there you can get up a link for my interview which was uh done and i was interviewed and you can just get to know about the things from there as well okay link is in the community box you can just go ahead in the community and check out that respective video if you want out okay now uh, for us take your time thank you so much for your time okay most most welcome for us most welcome sure 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 okay great so i guess now it's a time for disclosing that which sort of project we are gonna do up today into this particular one so see guys today's project actually i have a uh, thought of in such a manner because up till now we have done many projects with the tk enter but i hadn't used of many special libraries with the tk enter right like we all know that in python there is a time module right we ravi on to my channel only ravi ravi go to my channel and into my channel go to the community post okay so on to the community you will find up that interview the very first post is that only okay so yeah uh yeah, i was discussing that up till now we have done many projects with the tk inter but we haven't done one of the very important modules up till now like for which actually uh the questions are being asked up into the interviews or respectively the sort of uh things or the sort of combinations of the projects which actually hrs are looking into the resume is we haven't done that up till now right because i have discussed with you many things about the registration forms and we have done lots and lots of projects up till now in live streams but uh, up till now i haven't used the time module so yeah time module is one of the very basic modules which is actually or required in right which you should actually gather the knowledge for and that is for sure some of the either question is always asked up into the interviews related to the time module so today what are we going to do we are going to combine up the tk inter combine up the time module and with the combination of all of these today we are going to make up a digital clock python project okay so today i'll be telling you know about the making of this digital clock python project that how you can make that out and further i will let you know how you can make up more modifications into this about when you want to make this project as a different from others so i will be letting you know that how you can make more modifications so that your project looks different from others and your resume gets selected out than the other people having the same sort of project so that ideas we'll be discussing up into this series particular live stream right so hope you all are ready for making this project so with this project actually you will get to know many more things 
that will actually help you out into your interviews okay they are really really gonna help you out into your interviews so make sure whatsoever i am telling you regarding the time module make sure you are listening to my words to my uh, things very much carefully okay so because yeah that's the thing which will actually help you out so yeah without wasting time let's get started with today's particular live stream and the live demonstration for our python project let's get started on great i told you we'll be using tk inter and time two things i told you and yeah those are the two which we'll be using up here in just today's live stream so now what's about it's just that uh, we are having but three steps for my project right what are those three steps the very first one is my importing the libraries second one is simply making the outline of my uh, like my gui right and the third one is my main defining of my main function so yeah again we'll be proceeding up we will be going through these three steps only and then further we will be making up this particular python project right so yeah let's get started in for today's particular live stream so first of all what i'm going to do is that i'm going to simply import up my libraries right so i told you for the guis for my graphical user interface i am going to use up the t kinter library okay let's do that out very quickly so here i'm going to write up that from t kinter okay from t kinter i'm going to import up capital T small k it's actually what it's actually my t kinter window right i hope you people remember out and if you do not want to do it in this particular way what you can do you can simply write up import asterisk that's a better manner now what is this particular asterisk and what is that actually about right so this asterisk it's a sort of um respective sign which helps you to import up all of the functions from my t kinter library now see manually importing the functions is not a good idea right it it might take some time sometimes some spelling mistakes and yeah it's for sure going to take up some time so when we are having up the feature of importing all the functions at one time so why do we use actually importing every function one by one right that's so i am doing from my t kinta library i am importing up all of the functions which we are having it up here and next i am going to import up my time module one more thing to mention it up here is that we do not need that we do not require the installation of either t kinta or time so these two are the both are the inbuilt ones which we are having in up here into the python programming language right so yeah these are the inbuilts so we do not require neither the t kinter nor the time module okay now just confirm me out everyone that am i clear with the importing of the libraries that which libraries are to be imported and uh, what are libraries we'll be using up in this project just confirm me out everyone but if uh, ravi but if need only specific effects then it is better yeah absolutely right ravi if you want a specific function then it's better right yeah then you can use up in the manner like from in from tkinter import this particular function but ravi into my project i will be using up the uh, tk function as well okay i'll be using up the label function as well so into that case i so thought of like uh, i thought of importing the asterisk only yes at the time when you are actually requiring only one function then from take enter import and just write up that particular function name that's a better choice right that's a better choice even a better idea but at the time when you are using multiple functions you can simply put in from take enter import asterisk absolutely ravi right yes instead of all correct 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 absolute right okay great so that's done now next what is my task my importing of my libraries are completely done right i had simply sorted and completed a particular thing now next is what i'm doing i'm simply going to make up a, a respective variable 
and that particular variable will hold my t kinter window see t kinter is a library which has its own window so on to that own window of the t kinter only we write out our thing so it's not like that on to the console on to your python console or ide console you will get the output no it's not like that okay it's like that t kinter has its own respect respective um i would say window and into that only t kinter does up whatever respectively is to be done so first of all our very first task is to make have that particular window let's do that out so it's tk underscore window is equal to i'm going to write up capital t small k like that okay and next i'm going to write up tk underscore window dot i'm going to put up a title here title i'm going to give it to my respective window right that what is my or title for my window that's going to appear up for me so i can give up some title like a uh, digital clock by shambhavi okay some sort of this card work out great so yeah i had set on my made up my t kinter window that's my capital t is small k function you have to write in a similar manner next i have given up the title as well to my respective window okay that's done now i can simply um write up tk underscore window dot main loop regarding this main loop function i always tell into my live streams so that's respective uh into that particular manner it's about that okay ravi are you bt degree holder uh ravi um okay for that i uh, still you have to wait up some more time for this particular answer ravi because uh, there is uh, something going inside and uh, some some video is being prepared up for you people so that's the idea i can can't disclose that right away like this ravi okay fine so uh it's about that uh, i was talking about the respective main loop function so regarding the main loop function i always used to tell up in my live streams regarding this function again i'm going to tell you that if you haven't added this main loop function at the last of your project or the last of your complete program you will not be able to see your final output it's not that you will be having some error or anything no it's not like that if you are not having any error as well then also you will not be able to see the final output reason reason is very simple it's that you haven't used your main loop function so it's a sort of a function which actually tells that okay your program is ending up here and as soon as it is getting ended now after that nothing will be written on now we can run up the program okay so let me do one thing very quickly let me quickly run up this particular project and show you how is it going to look out so one second let me choose on the interpreter and just give me a second let me click over on so yeah it's out of that perspective thing and uh, a window will appear onto its own and this one okay this is my respective window which we are having it up here and uh, that's actually appearing up as my t kinter window now right away we haven't given any dimensions or anything like that so that's the reason it is not having any size or any color so we'll be doing up that things in a very short while okay let's do that okay it's done right these particular things i had done and now what's the particular thing that i have to do i will be setting up my label function okay i'll be setting up my label function why that actually see that is my particular function which will help me out to set on that okay i have to display this thing or i have to display that thing onto my take into window let me let me make it much more easier let me make it much more easier um we know that uh, when we talk about general python so whenever we want to print something as a form of an output or anything what we write we write print a statement right we use simply print a statement but now if i talk about tkinter 
So into the tkinter library, whenever I have to write up something onto my tkinter window, I use always we use the label function. So print function of Python and label function of tkinter are just absolutely similar. Right, so hope I am pretty much clear with this thing. If you could, people could give me a confirmation in the chat box so that we can proceed on. Okay, fine. Let's get further started with the making of my label function. So I'm going to simply use up simple variables, let's say a1 okay and here i'm going to set up my label now what do i have to write into my label okay what do i have to write up into my label that i will be discussing up right in a very short while not right now right now i'll be doing only two things two two to three things first of all declaring my tick inter window variable okay further Setting my font size, my font color, my background color, and should my font be bold or italic, and the things like that. Okay, let's do that out. So I'm gonna make a PO tiki underscore window. Okay, that's my variable into which my tiki inter window is stored. So whenever you are using any particular function from tiki inter, it's the very first thing that you should make sure that you are writing up that particular variable name which is into the into which you had stored your tick enter window okay thank you thank you so much johnny for your confirmation thanks you so much for that so yeah it's tk underscore window now i'm going to use up the font okay that's my respective other variable so what is my font style it's arial i want at what is my size let's say i want 155 and yes, I want that in to be the bold and even I want that to, let's say, okay, for now, let's say it should be bold only, okay? Come on. Now, I will be setting up the font ground, FG and the BG colors. FG is my four, foreground, that is my font color. BG is my background color. So, it's about FG, like this, okay? So, FG is my font color, that is my foreground color. So, that I'm going to set up, let's say, um, we can do anything. Um, let's say I want it to be light, light, uh, light pink. Okay. Yeah, let's say I want it to be light pink. You can set any color of your choice. Okay. Background, let's say I'll be wanting up your black. Okay, let's say black. Comma, that's done. Okay, yeah, it's all about, right? I had set out my uh, font color. I did set up my background color. So, it's all. And I'm going to write up even.pack. Now, when I have to print some, only one single thing onto the screen now, then it's not necessary for us, for us actually to give the place function to assign some rows or some columns. It's just that when you have to print only one thing, let's say I want to print up the time, the current time onto my screen. Right, in that respective case, I can simply and only use up my pack function. I am not in a need for giving up my respective place function. Okay, so pack what it will do onto the very first row and the very first column, it will automatically place my text. And that's so according to, the, to my size, which is 155. Okay, that's all done. Now, my second part of my project is as well done, right? That is the designing of my GUI. So first part was importing my libraries that we did very successfully previously only. Second part was simply uh, designing the layout of my GUI, right? And that third part I'm going to do and that is so about my uh, respectively the main function of my program, okay? that will actually help me to get up some current time and gather some current time that respective one we are going to use it now right so let's make it that particular function and let's proceed on so it's def okay it's def and uh, for def we are having let's say the um, i can we can put up some function name let's say 
um, t underscore current c u double r okay let's say this is the function def t underscore current so that is my respective function now which will help me to show the current time but before that i just wanted to ask everyone just once that am i clear with whatsoever i have delivered up so far up till now am i clear with all the things if you have any questions or if you have any queries please feel free to put them down in the chat chat box so that uh, your questions and your queries can as well get resolved here into this particular live stream okay perfect great fine let's proceed on and i was not talking about making up my particular function right so it's diff t underscore c u double r that's my current time right let's proceed on now i can set up some variable it's it's a2 simple variables okay not too much now this is a place where i'm going to use up my time variable so time module which we had already imported up above that particular time module okay thank you thank you johnny thank you so much for the clear confirmation now i am going to use up this particular time module here now from this time module i'm going to use up the strf time function like this okay it's strf time this particular one we're going to use now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to put up you that in which format i want my time to appear i want my current time to be appeared upon so let's say i'm going to use a percentage h okay then percentage m then i'm going to use a percentage s that h is for my hours m is for my minutes and s is for my seconds and i want to even display the am and pm so that's for person p okay person p is displaying my am or pm whatsoever respectively is happening so that you can display up from this particular person p h is again i'm going to repeat person h will display up the hours for me person m will display the minutes and person s will display up the seconds um okay ravi what's your opinion on flutter framework you can deploy on almost everywhere take into only for desktop um see ravi yeah flutter is actually a good option i i won't deny about that perspective one about the flutter but see ravi take into is sort of simple module only right flutter is a sort of package or a simple software other thing which you are having so these two things are slightly a lot of different from each other right it is a simple very small package which you have up in python but flutter is another other thing which we are having and but for using at those respective things the other things are as well needed so that starts a respective uh, idea between the flutter and between the tkinter yeah but yeah that's so true that flutter framework you can deploy that almost on everywhere that's so that absolutely right and tkin is only for desktop yeah tkin is only for the desktop but yeah, it's a sort of a package only right it's a sort of a very small package which you have up into that tkin great so yeah we were talking about hope hope davi you have got the answer for your question so this percentage is for my hours percent m is for my minutes and percent s is for my second and the percent is for this for it is displaying my am or pm right now what do i have to do i will be using a per function so um now what i will be using is that i'll be using my a1 that was my label function variable right that was my function which was helping me to display the uh, label function right so a1 dot a1 dot and now i'm going to use up here the config function config what is that config is a sort of one which help you to write up some text or which helps you to display up some text at a respective variable and you can just say that config something like uh, configuring up your tick enter and putting up the things and putting up the text over there it's something like that only so even dot config and what's the text about the so text we are having in up here as um, a2 because a2 is a variable inside which we are having up the text so that's about 
right and at last year what we are having we are having again i'm going to use up that uh, digi clock that is my sorry I, even i'm going to use up even dot and after now you see we are having up a value let's say it's 200 okay and i'll be calling up my function here t underscore cu double r removing the brackets so this 200 that value which we are having now that is into my milliseconds okay so it's just that after this much time you have to like uh, simply change up the time or simply enhance my time or the things like that right it's simply about that so here after this much of seconds you will my time will get updated and again my t underscore cu double r function will again get executed so strf time is a function which will help me to display up the current time that is the reason i am simply using up this particular function over here and now what's my last job my last job is to simply call up my function once again so it's t underscore cu double r and simply what i'm doing i'm calling up my function once again and that's all right that's all we had completed our project which we wanted to make it up here regarding that digital clock one right now what we'll, i'll be doing is that first of all i'll be telling you that what more uh like like what more cheat uh enhancements you can make up in this particular product now see i had put up only a made up a digital clock here right now what you can do just below that or just below this particular same tick window in that same tick window window only just below where the time is getting displayed there you can make up an option for setting the alarm clock right or you can simply make up an option for notifying for the desktop notifier right so like as soon as you click over that particular button your desktop notification will automatically open so it will just uh, notify you in a very short time that okay this is the thing that has to be done or at 12 you are having this meeting at 1 you are having this meeting so you can completely correlate the digital clock with the notifier the, your desktop notifier so digital clock i told you how to make that right and the desktop notification i had already made up a video so you can go ahead and find up that particular video into my playlist of Python project for beginners, right? In the English and Hindi, both you are having that. So you can just go ahead and find up that particular desktop notifier. So just below this, this clock which you are having, now you can just set up a desktop notifier a button. So as soon as you click over that button, now it will notify you in a short time, whatever duration you had set in. It will notify you, okay, that this thing has to be done or that has to be done. Next, just besides that, you can set up an alarm clock option. Now, right, that about setting up your alarm clock option. So now, as soon as you click on the, that particular button, uh, alarm clock, all the things will be displayed up, and now you'll be able to set up your alarm into that particular one only. So, into this particular manner, the projects get enhanced. In this particular manner, you actually enhance your projects you actually make up your projects look different from other people's and that sort of ones when you add up the interaction and that what had you made up into that particular project or what things you had used so that is the place where your resume gets stand out from the other people so all of the things are just working up like this it's not that everyone is developing some new project at a time and only getting the job it's not like that you have to make sure that you are writing your own codes you are aware of whatsoever you are writing you are pretty much knowing all the functions which you had put in but it's not just that you're copying from someone okay you have to make it of your own and how do we make you had simply seen that okay this is the idea how you can how i can make it this project now let's say this is the one which i have to add it into my resume so how i can enhance that i could add multiple buttons i could add a reminder button i could add a alarm clock button I could add a desktop notification button so in these particular manners we can add different different buttons and whatsoever button you are going to click it will work up accordingly desktop notifications so the notification app has been activated your set alarm clock so alarm clock app has been activated so in this particular manner you do up the respective things right so hope i am clear with that and now it's the time for running the project let me just very quickly run up this particular project and let's see that what's the final output which we are having in top here. So yeah, it's perfectly, it's 10, 22, it's actually representing the 10, it's 36 uh, p.m., 10, 36, and the seconds are continuously moving. And yeah, it's showing me that it is p.m. 
Now I can make one more change and that's a very clever one. Okay, let me show you what. A very clever more change we can make it up here. What's that instead of like we are getting here 22. Right, sometimes it happens that we really get confused between this 20 and the 21 and the 22. So where I have written this percentage H that I could change and I could write percentage I. Now see what's going to happen up. Now see, that has completely been changed. Now from that 22 now it's coming into 10, 11, 12, 10, 9, 8. Like that particular manner it's going to come up now. So that is the respective idea. Right, this is how you can simply make up a digital clock for yourself. Now what more specifications, what more changes, what more amendments are to be made in. For that I did have already discussed our video people. So now what you have to do is that you have to try applying making up that particular changes and simply you can just simply go ahead put up those respective changes and amendments there right so now what do we have to do is that simply it's just that uh, like the project which i had planned in for today that i have done even i had told you that how you can make this a one which is which must be different from the other people's project i told you about that particular thing as well right yeah hi hello nikhil welcome to this live stream now one two things to you people and after that i won't disturb you <laughs> so it's just that like uh, this particular video now will remain saved onto my channel we are having up a playlist of live sessions just under under that you will get up this video so if you have missed out anything if you want to revise up anything so you can quickly watch up this particular video once again second thing is that i'm having up a one more youtube channel and that is upsc with shambhavi so that channel covers up your entire idea regarding your civil services preparations like upsc and ies all the civil services preparations that take years off so please go ahead and subscribe out this particular channel as well do refer that to your friends if they want to go into civil services so they can ask well refer up this particular channel and they can study out and take the benefits from this right so yeah that's the idea and here is again I request you all as well to once go ahead and subscribe out this channel that's my fun with data science under which the live stream is going on so that further whatever the now new more videos and uh, new more live streams we are going to do so do not miss out those things from my side and even refer up this particular channel to your friends so that if they want to learn data science or other things like that so they can as well come up and learn it from here right uh, Nikhil I'm Python beginner Okay, Nikhil, Nikhil, no worries into that, Nikhil. What you can do is that simply you can go and watch out my Python for Beginners English playlist. Okay, Nikhil, into that I had told from the very beginning of the very uh, first Hello World program in Python. And it's covering up to the advanced level, Nikhil. Okay, so you can just watch out that playlist that is Python for Beginners English. Even you can find the link for the playlist in the description of this live stream only. So check out the description of this live stream and you will get up that particular playlist link and you can study out Python from there. Hope that will help you out to gain up some good information in Python programming language and at any sort of point, at any doubt, you can always write me on to the chat box, onto the comment section. I'm really happy to have, help you out there. Okay. Great. Fine. So today's live stream, I guess it's the time for ending up this live stream for today. Hope you people had made on this project and even enjoyed of this project making up with me. Now I will see you all next Saturday, same time, 10 p.m. in the evening with a new cool Python project. Right, so if you want to give me some uh, suggestions regard, <coughs> one second. Excuse me okay so if you want to give me some suggestions that this project should be taken or that project should be taken so sure you can uh, let me know in any of my recent videos that okay i want this particular in the live stream or that particular topic i'm really happy to take that topic for you into the live streams okay you can let me know anytime in any of my videos okay great um nickel please do live every day <laughs> Okay, Nikhil, sure, we will we'll be having your suggestion and for sure, I'll be uh, looking over that and hopefully in some, some time we will be doing live every day. Hopefully we'll be doing that. Okay, that's, that's the thing. 
and yeah great i'll be really as well happy to meet you people every day so that's the thing okay most welcome johnny thank you thank you so much everyone for attending this live stream today hope you people had enjoyed this live stream now we'll see you all next saturday same time 10 pm in that evening with some new cool python projects which actually you will be able to add up into your resumes thank you thank you so much everyone take care have a nice weekend ahead bye bye everyone take care